Hey everybody, Jason of GhostbustersNews.com here for you today. And yes, our Halloween countdown rolls on as we're in our local Value Village location. And we're gonna be making costumes on the cheap. Yes, two Ghostbuster themed costumes for you. Anyone can make them. We got you covered here this week on Ghostbusters News 2017 Halloween Countdown. <laughs> we're not alone either. <laughs> So yeah, today I am joined by, by Megan here, and once again, the concept of the day is putting together Ghostbuster costumes. On the cheap, um, this video is actually being sponsored by uh, Savers Value Village. I'm excited, I'm excited to try and piece something together here. Megan, do you have any idea of what you're gonna be putting together today? I think I have a bit of an idea. A bit of an idea? I think, I think I, I've got something good. So I was thinking that, you know, my costume's gonna be amazing. Um, uh, but I, I find I work best under pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really feel like uh, I could probably uh, whoop your butt if, if you decided that you were brave enough to go up against me. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. You make a costume, I make a costume, and we let maybe our, our YouTube audience or our Facebook audience, they can decide which of us out of the two wins. How about that? I think that's fair. Okay, so now I, I guess it's time to go across the store, aisles upon aisles upon aisles of clothing, Halloween costumes. People are excited, there's bells going off, because we're gonna kick it off right here for you. You're gonna go, just go, keep, just go, 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 go find your costume, find your costume. I'm gonna find my costume, and uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. So for my idea, I'm thinking about going with a, uh, a classic Ghostbuster suit, like a flight suit, but I wanna put like more of a feminine twist on it, not like we saw in the last Ghostbuster film, but more something uh, that will, will bring some nostalgia back. Um, I, was, I was looking through some, some costumes earlier and came across this. So basically, Jason's screwed. Okay, so Megan seems pretty arrogant, pretty cocky with her whole like retro Ghostbusters eye kind of outfit there. Uh, I'm gonna keep it kind of old school, keep it 1984. I'm gonna go with the classic, the Keymaster, Lewis Tully. All right, so success, I found myself a nice orange undershirt, found myself a blue overshirt. It's not identical to what's in the film, but when you go to a, a costume party, nobody's gonna notice as long as you're dressed kinda like Lewis and you're rubbing pizza on your face and you're saying, yes, have some, that's really all you need. All right, so the costumes have been gathered. I gotta say, there was one piece in particular that I was kind of missing from mine, so I'm a little nervous. I, I may not win. How are you feeling about this right now? Oh, I, I think I got this. All right, guys, I just said uh, when I was Megan there a second ago, I'm a little nervous because I, I couldn't find like nerd glasses anywhere. I mean, once again, Value Village, your selection, Savers, your selection, it's awesome, but uh, no nerd glasses. I mean, luckily I got my own, but that could break me in this whole thing. All right, guys, so I've got my makeshift Lewis Tully costume on right now. I mean, once again, all I need is a slice of pizza, maybe a big container of popcorn, start rubbing things on my face. I think I could win some Halloween costumes. The outfit is simple, it's plain, but it does the job. I think I got this one in the bag. Yeah, I'm rocking it. So, can you explain this ensemble to me? All right, well, I, I went for this dress. Uh, I, I liked the color. It reminded me of the original flight suit. I like the little red accents because it goes with the no ghost look. Um, if I had time to like fix it up and add little bits to it, I would have added like a, a little rookie uh, patch on, on, my, on my dress right about here. And then maybe like a no ghost logo if I had time. Um, unfortunately, like we're doing this all in the store. Um, I found these cool goggles. I thought they were really neat. Mm -hmm. um, I thought they, they reminded me of, you know, like just like the ones Dan Aykroyd wear. Uh, it, it's not as thick. Yeah. There's stuff I could do to it to make when you it have a little your better. Eyes closed, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it came together pretty well for a makeshift cost, uh, costume. We want you to vote which costume is the better. Uh, right down below, right here on YouTube. Comment, tell us what you think. Um, once again, let's just keep in mind that I'm a man wearing a 1984 costume based around the original Ghostbusters. 
Internet, we feel your hate for the 2016 female Ghostbusters. And let, let, let me win. Just let me win. That's all I have to say. So in closing, I, we would like to thank Value Village Savers uh, for accepting us, for sponsoring this video. Yeah. It was a pretty cool experience. It and was we, a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, we put these things together in what, like an hour? Yeah, for that it, one there? it didn't take too, too long. Yeah, and, and as Megan said, I mean, you can kind of buy your basis outfits here if you want to. And if you want to do add more to it, I mean, like for her, you could add the no ghost patch on the arm. You could add the name tag, like she said, right across the chest there. Um, you could even add like maybe like a military belt or like slime or marshmallow goo, yeah, the, whatever you want. The sky's the limit really with, with these costumes. They're a really good uh, starting point. And you know, even if even if you are shopping on the last day, there's something that you can find. There's lots of cool things here. Um, like we're still finding things that would make cool costumes. All right, so this Halloween season, once again, be sure to check out your local Value Village for all your Halloween costume needs. Yes, have some. Yes, have some. <laughs> Grab the proton packs of the